Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your June 3rd through the June 17th uh, bi-weekly reading. So we're going to do bi-weekly readings now. Um, we have a five card advice spread laid out for you. A uh, general energy. It could be love, it could be work, it could be whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll save the announcements to the end. The first card is you, where you are. Four of Cups. Okay. The second card, are you in your correct path? Seven of Pentacles. And the King of Cups came out with this. And what is your main obstacle? The Hangman. What's helping you? The Ten of Cups. And the Devil. And how can progress be made? The Death card. Ooh, this, this is interesting Aquarius okay you right where you are four of cups discontentment boredom not looking at the situation with new eyes uh, there's something else here you're still concerned about the three cups here that were unfulfilling you might have been in a third party situation in the past recent past at this present moment you're not looking at what the universe is offering you turn around look around um, it's newness for you. Um, are you on your correct path? Seven of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Something says here to uh, that you're looking backwards. You're looking at what is a was or is invested with maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, and, and Pisces in particular. We got Pisces and uh, Scorpio. You're looking at what you invested here. You want to return on that. Um, you also you might be waiting for a cancer pisces scorpio which would bring you to the hangman what's your obstacle the hangman could be a pisces in particular you're waiting for this person or it's just that you you're stagnated because you don't know where to go what to choose here you have something or someone here who's interested or wants to invest because we have the page of the, the prince of pentacles at the bottom of the deck capricorn virgo Taurus, sun moon rising so there's an offer here uh but i don't think you're moving on anything okay uh what is helping you the ten of cups and the devil interesting energy helping you Some of you feel a very strong a magnetic pull to a particular person. It could be a Capricorn, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They make you happy. You might even have a family with this person or you want family with this person or vice versa. They want family with you. The connection is very strong here. Um, Ten of Cups and the Devil. The chemistry is strong between you two. How can progress be made? Let something in so a, a new can begin. Um, let something transform. I think you're stagnating the energy here with the hangman. And something can't transform into whatever it should transform into. Whether it's an ending um, or it's actually, you know, it's going to turn into something good. Something worth having. Okay, what is the death card? The death card is the world, yeah, in the six of cups. So this might be that you need to let something from the past in. You've gone as far as you can go. When we have the devil and the world, it says, look, you should have learned a lesson. You know what lesson it is with this person or this particular situation. You've gone you guys have gone as far as you can go. If you're not going to transform the energy, if it's still going to be the same stagnant energy then let it go and walk out of it some of you are having a hard time walking away from it or them or him or her because there's children involved or you've known this person for a long time or you have nostalgic thoughts of the past but you have four pentacles you won't someone you won't let someone go or they won't let you go you won't let a situation go or they won't let you go some of you also penny pinching right now uh yeah so it's like 
you either let the the, the energy transform because you keep looking backwards you keep going backwards so you're either going to be in this and let it transform if it will or you're going to walk away from it what's to come if Aquarius walks away from this situation what is to come if Aquarius walks away three of pentacles all right recognition this could be a work situation also for some of you um three of pentacles what happens if Aquarius walks away from this situation queen of cups seven of swords or they let it transform ten of swords six of wands and then the lovers So it might need to be, it might be that you need to walk away, maybe Prince of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Uh, you need to walk away from someone who's in and out of your life. You need to gain truth and clarity so that you can have a new start as the fool. The world is here. The next, next would be the fool. Um, walk away maybe from a third party situation with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular. This doesn't serve you. you. You've got to devise a plan of action to get yourself out of stagnant energy. Also, this person could be, you know, sneaking behind your back or vice versa. Or the both of you are sneaking. Whatever it is, it causes the Ten of Swords. Either they've already caused this for you or it will end in an ending. A hurtful ending. Uh, feeling betrayed. But after that, you get victory, even promotion, uh, engagement, a wedding, maybe with a Gemini or someone actually makes a choice here. Okay, Aquarius, I'm. Um, yeah. I don't have time for this. Um. I'm going to start doing extended readings because that's interesting uh, what happens, you know, because some of you guys are dealing with third party situations. It looks like a choice is being made. Might be some victory there for you. Um, yeah, I'm going to start doing extended readings. Let's keep it moving. All right. Career and finance for Aquarius. Career and finance for Aquarius. That was the most clear love reading for Aquarius I've ever done it's always crazy career and finance for Aquarius career and finance messages for Aquarius career and finance messages four cups again so there's discontentment for some of you in a job career situation and however you make your money and finances all together uh, boredom not seeing something for what it is nine of pentacles it's just you where you are okay abundant are you on your correct path six of pentacles you might need a little help or you might have given a little help you might be in a situation where you feel like it's just not equal. It, the pay isn't it isn't uh, worth all of the work, the amount of work that you do or are doing or will be doing. What's your main obstacle? The Queen of Swords, okay? So you need to... Your main obstacle is... Someone... You, you might be a boss, too. Um, very stern. Firm truthful but um and this could be you so so bogged down in discontentment with the four of cups and not really getting what you want because the queen of swords is you know they say jaded a bit not really always getting what you want so you're you know you're kind of cold and cutting and you 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 yield that sword so people can't come as you know close as they would like 
So that might be your main obstacle. People aren't taken to you or are taken to your situation. Uh, or people don't know the truth about what's going on with you. Or truth about how you feel about this whole situation. What is helping you? The two of swords might even be a Libra here. Um, a decision being made. Someone blindly making a decision. It might even benefit you here. How can progress be made? Knight of Cups. Um, get creative. Get creative in your um, career and finance. If you need more finances, get creative about it. You may even have a creative way, um, hobby. Monetize it. You may have, you know, some creative skills that you can um, sell or service. You know, Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. Wow. Somebody's making a decision. Whatever this decision is, it's, it's big and it sets you right. You're going to be nice and set pretty, you Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles. Um, taking, this is a, a, a solid um, foundational start. Blessed by the heavens. Something you, you wanted, you need, you've asked for. Could be engagement. Could be the purchase of a new home. Could be um, purchase of a new car. Could be starting a new business. It could be solidifying a relationship by way of moving in together. A choice has been made or a choice will be made. We ended with the lovers in the last spread. Something about a cho then the two of swords and the, the lovers. Two two cards. Some, something about choice in a career and finance, guys. It looks good, though. Whatever it is. Oh, look what two of cups in the ace of pentacles. It might, for some of you, might be partnering with someone. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, a, su a successful relationship. Solidifying that su successful relationship. Alright. So there we are. Let's get, uh, we'll do four cards of advice. Where are we? Got 12 minutes. The energy looks good moving forward. Whatever you're waiting for, Aquarius, is coming in. Um... Just hold on. Hold on and hold out. Thank you for four cards of advice for Aquarius. True, accurate. Advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius to govern and guide their lives. Ultimately, bringing them back to our Creator in prayer and supplication. Reverence for the great and wonderful works that you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, bottom of the deck, new, new exercise program. And then under that, we've got dietary change. Oh, no, that's for me. All right, so um, new exercise program, dietary change. Changing your mind. I think that's what that four cups is about in both spreads. The four cups is, okay, I'm discontented, maybe even disappointed with where I am and with the decision I made. I'm weighing it up in my emotions. I'm not really doing anything about it, but um, I'm definitely contemplating where I am. So it might be that you're changing your mind. Changing your mind could be anything. Hobbies, what did I say? Uh, for money, if you feel like you need more money, get creative, you are creative. If you paint, if you read tarot cards if you do hair and you're really good at it if you can do your own hair really well um you know and you might need extra money do somebody else's hair you know people always ask you who does your hair and you say i do start doing someone else's um go back to school and you know get that that schooling that you need uh certifications that you need um Anyway, hobbies talk, talks about, of course, engaging in a hobby. Also can talk about monetizing a hobby. Memories. Okay, I think this is what that Six of Cups is. Like, you just keep going back. You just keep, and you won't let the energy either transform, transmutate, or die altogether. 
you are stronger than you know. You can get through whatever it is you get. You're you're going through Aquarius. You're stronger than you know. You think you can buckle. Well, you think you you have to buckle every time, or you think you just can't let it go or let them go, but you can. You're stronger than you know. Aquarius, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, I think I'm going to start back with the extended reads. Hmm. Maybe next week, though, because, yeah. Anyhow, um, all of my information is below. Send me an email if you want to partake in the $20 special reading. Three questions, three clear, concise questions for $20, okay? Um, yeah, send an email and we can make that happen for you. It's a video recorded reading. It's not a phone reading for $20. No, no, no. Um, what else? Follow me on Instagram, InstaGo. Um, you, yeah, contact me on InstaGo. Ask a question or two. You start asking several questions, it can get expensive on that site. Might as well have requested a personal reading. Okay. Um, remember, Aquarius, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care until next time.